Welcome back to the week eight edition of NFL Weekly. I'm Nick Senefani. I'm Alex Lee. <laughs> and let's just get right into the games. The first game we got Thursday night. Another disappointing Thursday night matchup. Uh, between the one and six Falcons and the three and four Panthers. Alex, what are you thinking on this one? Uh, this is my upset pick of the week. I'm going with the Falcons over the Panthers. The Falcons haven't looked like a one and six team this year. Like last week with the Todd Gurley accidentally falling in the end zone, I think they'll finally get a win and move to two and six. What do you think? I like the Falcons' offense, and I think they'll probably lead for about three and a half quarters. But I think they'll have another choke job. Yeah. I'm a, I'm gonna say the Panthers win this one on a game-winning field goal. Mm. The Panthers. They've gotten a lot of production out of Mike Davis, DJ Moore, and Robbie Anderson, so I'm going Panthers, Panthers. on this one. All right. Steelers-Ravens, probably the game of the week for this week. Uh, the Ravens coming off their bye week. They usually play pretty good off their bye week, and the Steelers have just looked dominant this year, coming off a good win against the Titans. Alex? I got the Steelers staying undefeated. I think they'll go. It's in Baltimore, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think they're going to go into Baltimore and lock down Lamar and then uh, stay undefeated. And maybe Chase Claypool can have a bounce back week after scoring 0.8 fantasy points for me. So what do you think? I'm going to take the Ravens in this one. They're, last year, they beat the last undefeated team, the Patriots, coming off their bye week. Oh, yeah. So... They've been historically good off the bye, and I think the, their offense is finally going to click, so I'm going to take them over the Steelers this week. The Patriots and the Bills. What do you got here? Patriots and the Bills. I have the Bills winning. The Cam Newton looked horrible last week against 49ers, and Jimmy G came back into uh, the Patriots' home and won, but it wasn't really mostly him. It was the defense, but... Cam Newton looked really bad, and the Bills have looked good this year, so I have the Bills. Yeah, I think Cam looked absolutely awful last week, but I also think Belichick is really good against in-division opponents, and I think he's going to have a solution to lock down Josh Allen in the Bills' offense. So I think the Patriots, I'm going to go with this as my upset pick this week. I'm taking the Patriots. Titans and Bengals. I don't even think we need to say Yeah, anything. we're we're not going to talk much about this one. Titans coming off a loss last week against Steelers to make them 5-1. and one, mm. But I think they're going to come out. Derrick Henry might rush for 300 this week. So. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. yeah, I think we're both going Titans here. <laughs> yeah. Let's move on. Ra- another good one, Raiders-Browns. We're both thinking this could go either way, right? Yeah. I could see it going either way, but I am picking the Browns at home, winning by a field goal. Now with Odell being gone, uh, Rashard Higgins needs to step up, but he did last week against the Bengals. I mean, he went off. Um, but I think the Browns will win in a close one. Yeah, Baker looked like a completely different quarterback the last three quarters compared to the first where he went 0 for 5 oh, with yeah. a pick. But I also think Odell, the loss of Odell, is going to be big. So I think they're going to need a couple weeks to figure that out, and I'm going to take the Raiders in this one. I can see that game going either way. Yeah, for sure. Colts-Lions. This is an under-the-radar good game. The Lions The Lions have been playing like a good team. They also just made a trade for Everson Griffin. Beef up their defense a little bit. Alex, what do you think? Uh, I have the Lions in this game. They're 3-3. Three and three, And, yeah, with that trade, I think their defense will get a little bit better. They barely beat the Falcons last week. Um, I think Phillip Rivers will choke this week. And then... Uh, I think the Lions will win at home. I'm going to take the Colts in this one. I think even though the Lions have been playing good, the Colts' defense is just really good, and they're going to get to Stafford early. Uh, Their offense isn't too intriguing, but I think this is going to be a low-scoring one. The Colts are going to take it. I see that. Got an NFC North matchup between the Vikings and the Packers. I don't think we really need to talk about much about this one either. Yeah, Packers Packers big time. Uh, and we got the same kind of idea here, Jets, Chiefs. There's literally just zero reason to talk about this one. Yeah, Jets actually didn't look horrible last weekend, but yeah, they I held mean, the Bills looked really worse. Yeah, they held Josh Allen down a little bit, but I also think Josh Allen put it in the end zone. Yeah, but holding down Josh Allen is nothing compared to holding Patrick down Mahomes. Yeah. So I got Chiefs huge in this one. Yeah, the line is Chiefs uh, nineteen oh and a half. God. So. That's pretty bad for the Jets. I'm still taking, like, the Chiefs' bet on that one. Yeah. (laughs) 
So yeah, Chiefs big at home. Two was first start. Oh yeah, I between about that. the Dolphins and the Rams. I got the Rams. Yeah. I don't think Tua will lead them over the Rams. The Rams look good this year. Yeah, I see. I could see Tua having a shaky start in his first game. Not horrible, but I mean, just facing Aaron Donald. So. Yeah. But I also could see Fitz taking back the job in a couple of weeks, to be honest. Uh-huh. But I'm taking the Rams in this one. Yeah. I don't really know what else, much else to say. Mm-hmm. Chargers, Broncos, two young quarterbacks, Drew Locke, Justin Herbert. Mm. I think Herbert's looked amazing this year, and I think he's going to keep it up again against yeah. the Broncos defense. So. Yeah, and the Broncos defense looked horrible last week against Mahomes. Yeah. On the snow. Taking the Chargers in this one? Yeah, same. Another good game, 425 between the Saints and the Bears. The Bears didn't have their greatest showing against the Rams on Monday Night Football this week, last week. But I think they're going to bounce. Wait, is that right? Yeah. I yeah, think they're going to bounce football. back. Their defense is going to hold down probably a Michael thomas Saints team again. Still? Jeez. So, I'm going to go with the Bears. Uh, I have the Saints in this one. I want the Bears to win because it would be cool to see Nick Foles be doing good with the Bears. But... I don't think, based off that Monday night football uh, performance against the Rams, I think the Saints can finally win one and get back on track, even though they're 4-2, and two, but they haven't looked like very good this year. But I got the Saints winning. The 49ers and the Seahawks, I'm surprised this one isn't Sunday night football. I would much rather watch this one at 8-20 than Cowboys-Eagles, personally. <clears throat> but I think the Seahawks' offense has just looked amazing. Tyler Lockett dropped 53 fantasy points yeah. last week. He just has an insane connection with Russell Wilson. And they should have won that game. Yeah. Russell Wilson throws the perfect, absolute most perfect passes ever. Yeah. The most beautiful deep ball that I've ever seen. Mm-hmm. And this Niners defense isn't going to be able to hold him down. Yeah, I'm going Seahawks. Yes, yeah, and If the 49ers were fully healthy this year, then I can see it being closer, but the Seahawks yeah. is just too good, so I have Seahawks. The Niners are just killed with injuries. They just lost Debo Samuel. Again? And yeah, for t- like two weeks. And they lost Jeff Wilson, who, like, mm. who he rushed for 110 yards and three touchdowns last yeah. week. So now it's going to be up to Jarek McKinnon and Jamichael Hasty as their running back. So, yeah, Seahawks. Yeah. And then back to the Sunday night game Cowboys, Eagles. This, like, Cowboys I just don't have care. A quarterback. The Cowboys are starting the JMU product, Ben DiNucci. Uh. And. This Eagle, the Eagles have a good defensive front. The, the Cowboys have an awful line. I think that is going to yeah, just cause nightmares for Ben DiNucci. He'll probably get sacked about eight times. Fletcher Cox, four sacks. Yeah, I can see <laughs> it, honestly. So, we both taking the Eagles in this one? Yeah. Eagles for the division lead. To keep At, it. like, three wins. Yeah. They're two, four, and one. That's pathetic. And Monday Night Football. Another the primetime games this week are just disappointing. Yeah. The Buccaneers and the Giants. The Giants just aren't a good football team. Mm-mm. They're trying to battle for Trevor Lawrence. Did you see that Trevor Lawrence might uh stay honestly here? I, yeah I I think if the Jets get the first pick he was he's legitimately gonna stay. Yeah I don't know it'd be hard to pass up all that money though. Yeah. So he knows know. he'll get it at some point though but yeah I couldn't blame him. Yeah, but, but we both got the buck in this one. Yeah. Tom Brady's looking actually amazing this year now. He's finally getting into it with his receivers like Gronk and Scotty Miller. <laughs> Even without Chris but, Godwin, he still loves Scotty Miller and Gronk. Yeah, so. and he's actually pretty good. So I have the Bucks going to 6-2. and two. Yeah, for sure. The Giants just have no hope. Yeah. So that's just about All everything games. we have this week. And... We'll catch you back for the Week 9 edition of NFL Weekly. Oh, no, we need to do the score update. Oh, yeah, score update so, of last week. Last week, I went 11-3 and three with my picks, which resulted in me getting 14 points because I picked my upset pick right. I forget who it was, but uh, it was the football team over the Cowboys. Yeah. And Alex went 8-6 and six last week with 8 points. And I missed my upset, which was the Texans over the Packers. So, I missed that. We will be back next week to update you with all the results of the games, who we're picking next week, and point updates for the week. So, Peace out. See ya.